What's up, audience? Here today, I'm going to talk about Them Crooked Vultures, which is a, a new kind of band. It's not new. It was back in 2009. Um, but uh, I I listened to this band first when I found out who the people in the band were. And the three main people in the band are Paul Jones, and if you don't know who that is, from Led Zeppelin. And then Dave Grohl, who was initially in Nirvana, and then he started Foo Fighters. And then Josh Holm from Queens of the Stone Age. So I heard that, and it's a super band. It's all of these people who left their original bands come together and be like, hey, what do you feel like doing? I feel like writing a bunch of lyrics to write an album. What do you feel like doing? I feel like playing some guitar for a new album. So all of a sudden, all of these great, fantastic lyrical geniuses come together for one great album. And they're called the Them Cricket Vultures. And they're very, very different. If you have a closed mind about music, if you have a a set thing that you like, then you're probably not going to like this because Them Crooked Vultures is crazy. They they have a fantastic new way of music, putting things together. You can barely, barely hear the lyrics when you're listening to them. You have to be toning everything else out to listen to the lyrics. And even when you look them up, you don't know that they tell a story. You don't know that they make much sense. But they actually came together with the idea of making an album that did the be that to the best of their abilities showcased all of their talents and to the to the utmost and make an album out of it they didn't care how it turned out they didn't do it to impress anybody and then all of a sudden it blew up people ate it up and i'm not quite sure why mostly probably because it is so different people it's the whole hipster idea of our generation. You gotta like something that nobody else likes for it to be cool. Um, if you go along with the crowd, then it's no longer cool to like something or to be interested in something, which is really unfortunate. But um, it's strange and it's it's crazy. And the song "Elephants" uh, by them is actually uh, it's interesting. Uh, the first, uh, the first. I'll just give an example of the of the the lyrics. We're painted as monsters, Baracho Consado, and do you know what the people say? Plucked from the garden of wretched beliefs, I offer a rose and smile with harmless teeth. Then slick back my hair. You know the devil's in there, alone in the garden like lumbering giants in a shameful parade. We all come to ruin and all make a rotten trade. So lyrically and with. The way that they write, it sounds fantastic. I don't know that it necessarily tells a story. It's, it's one of those things where you probably have to be on the inside to quite know what they were thinking when they wrote it. But sometimes that's pretty fascinating. And it's it's definitely hard rock. It's a lot of different noises coming together. And it, it sounds disjointed. And it sounds chaotic. And it sounds like sometimes where they all just stood back and said, okay, play whatever you feel. But it came together, and it's fascinating, and I've never heard anything like it before. Heard, I've listened to their whole album, and I love almost every song on it. And I, it, I, I challenge you as a viewer to go and listen to at least one song all the way through. And if you listen to one song, I'd listen to either Elephants or uh, Warsaw, which is an eight-minute song. Try and sit through it. It's fantastic. It's great. Um, it's new. It's invigorating. And... I think everybody should try something new.